a handcart wheelbase. Interesting. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear? Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Well, yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. I should use the appropriate object here. I should use the appropriate object here. I should use... So, now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. Something long for the headlight to be attached. The long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. the fire extinguisher. Now, let us see what we have here. First of all, let us pump the pressure inside the extinguisher. First of all, let us... The steam whistle is ready to be used. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So, such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. 
it made us extremely unpopular with our driver. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. A funny character. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. Hmm, this scent is familiar to me, but in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one... That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveller or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. <laughs> 